Yeah. I, I fucking am. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> if you try and push in, I'm going to stamp on you, you, you big-nosed twat. <laughs> Hold on. Who are you calling big nose? <laughs> what do you mean? No, it just... Pot calling kettle black. What the fuck does that mean? What does pot... Well, you know, if a pot's... But I'll forget it. I can't forget it. I'm a fucking elephant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two camels, two lions, two ostriches, two leopards, two tigers, two zebra. Ah, here's the crux of my point. Just one species on the ark at the moment, the giraffes. They got their first longer legs, okay? Five million more species to, to get on there, so... Two of it. So two, two animals on the ark at the moment. Ten million more animals to go. Ten million more of those, okay? Ten million, okay? As far as ten million of them to get on there. Just two on there at the moment. Look how much room they're already taking up. It's at a third capacity. <coughs> What's it going to be like on there when these two fat cunts get on? Then God bent the bow of his anger and the rain came flooding down, covering the earth with water. It rained for 40 days and nights. The flood water rose higher and higher until it covered the tops of the highest mountains. Every living thing was drowned except Noah and the animals in the ark. And the fish. <laughs> they were fine, weren't they? They were fine. They were loving it. They were better off. In fact, all the sea creatures. I mean, mountains underwater, their domain had increased like tenfold. Also, it's so much more interesting. You've got crabs going, I'm on a fucking mountain. This is amazing. I never want this flood to... I've never been up here before. I think of that when you see on the news, like if there's a little um, village in Gloucester flooded or something. And it's really sad. You see people, they've lost their homes and they're in dinghies and they're carrying their pets. And you see a little row of antique shops completely underwater. And I think of a fish just looking in the window of that antique shop for the first time. <laughs> so that's a chaise long. <laughs> for 150 days the earth was covered with water. Then Noah opened the window of the ark and looked out. The water seemed to be going down, but how could he be sure? Well, ask God, you've been chatting to him all the way through. Why are we... <laughs> why are we getting cryptic all of a sudden? He sent a raven out, but it soon came flying back. It could find nowhere to settle. Noah waited another week, and he sent out a dove. Why did the raven lose his job? <laughs> but the dove came back too. See, the raven wasn't bullshitting. This is... There was still no dry land anywhere. But one day, the dove flew out, and... Why did the dove get a second go and not the raven? Racist. But one day the dove flew out and brought back a green olive branch and no one knew that God was no longer angry. Sorry, mate. Just then God told Noah to let the animals out of the ark. They must once more fill the earth with living things. The first thing Noah did was to build an altar. He offered a sacrifice to God to thank him for saving them. And Noah said, I will make a pact of friendship with you. I will never again send a flood to destroy the earth. The rainbow which I put in the sky will no longer be a sign of my anger, but a sign of peace. It will be a sign of my friendship with men. That is... That is... That uh, is... That is how it is used today. They took it literally. <laughs> it will be a sign of my friendship with men, which begins today, and which my son Jesus will one day prove by shedding his blood for uh, men. Who? You'll see. There, was, there wasn't a teaser campaign in the Old Testament. <laughs> Coming soon, the sequel. <laughs> And so when you've done wrong and you're feeling very sad about it, think of the rainbow and the peace which God wants to put into your heart. He has promised to be your friend, promised to be his, and that's just one of the Dove book series. Um,